Let's engage in a little thought experiment. 30 or 40 years from now, uh, when you retire and hang up your robe and you're out fishing or sitting on the front porch of your surely lovely home, and you look back over your career, how will you know if you were a good judge? Senator, that's a question I ask my kids every semester when I teach ethics. <coughs> Finish the semester with asking them to spend five minutes writing their obituary. They hate it. They think it's corny. I might be a little corny. And then I ask them if they'll volunteer to read some of them. And people want to be remembered for the kindnesses they showed other people, by and large. And what I point out to them, what I try to point out is, it's, it's not how big your bank account balance is. Nobody ever puts that in their draft obituary. Or that they build the most hours. Or that they won the most cases. It's how they treated other people along the way. And for me, it's the words I read yesterday from Increase Sumner's Tombstone. And uh, <clears throat> that means as a person, I'd like to be remembered as a good dad, a good husband, kind and mild in private life, dignified and firm in public life. And I have no illusions that I'll be remembered for very long. None. If Byron White is as nearly forgotten as he is now, as he said he would be, I have no illusions. I won't last five minutes. That's as it should be. The great joy in life, Shaw said, is devoting yourself to a cause you deem mighty before you're thrown on the scrap heap. An independent judiciary in this country, if I can carry that baton for as long as I can carry it, and I have no illusions I'm going to last as long as you suggest, and that'll be good enough for me.